that heat on there. All right, you ready? Careful not to melt this. That looked like it closed up really well, um, but we want to try to avoid that if possible. So just make sure you guys are working these things like hot.
to get you guys an idea this is just a rough start of that grind i still need to bring it back to uh you know to, to the back here um, because of the way that this geometry is transitioning here i want this to look like that um like that spear from the letter breen ice patch mm. uh where this piece is pretty much just tapered down and the point uh sorry the edge actually begins here mm. and goes all the way to the point so i've still got a lot of material to remove um, but I'm kind of trying to keep my angle consistent, same as when we were forging. I want to support uh, with my fingers and kind of be able to push and leverage with both of these hands to keep the pressure where I want it, to keep my angle as even as possible. Since I have it blended pretty close to here, I'm gonna be able to clean this up either by hand or with a higher grit belt gently, oh, okay. probably using the wheel or the slack belt also. Um, but this transition here is gonna get a little bit thinner as it goes into the blade. I don't wanna really mess with that just yet. Oh, okay. So we'll go back to grinding the Hit it, I just hit this with the wheel. I was wondering if the if the um, 
diameter, if the two inch diameter there would be small enough for this. It looks like it's kind of borderline, so I'll probably go and use a smaller contact wheel in order to get this down properly. Uh, but I just wanted to clean some of the, some of the extra gunk off of there. Mm -hmm. So once we have it looking like this, what we're going to do is switch over to the, uh, to the fresher belts. Because uh, those, uh, those glazed over pretty quick um, after all the rough grinding we did on them. Yeah. And I want to make sure that we're not overheating the edges on these. Uh -huh. um, the kind of, you know, finer the belt is or the older it is, the more kind of glazed over. It's going to cut a little more slowly and it's going to create a lot more heat. Um, so we want to make sure that, um, you know, once, once we're kind of done getting through the scale on these, uh, we'll switch over uh, to the fresher belts. And uh, at this point, we don't really need to mess with our socket. The socket should already be pretty much where it needs to be um, from the rougher belt. And what we'll be able to do is the exact same thing. Once we have the 120 grip belt on there, we'll just take it, clean up those lines. You'll see the surface quality change, and you'll see when you get rid of all your scratches. Um, and then after that, what we'll do is uh, continue to bring this up 120 and then kind of 220. Uh, and then we'll uh, start hand polishing these. Um, I can kind of feel it um, begin to really swell out here. Uh, because of this, we're, we're basically flattening the transition between the, the blade and the spear <coughs> uh, socket using the, uh, using the wheel here. We can go in there and kind of file this with, uh, you know, basically draw file it if we want to get in there a little more carefully. Uh, but the wheel is going to probably do it for this piece. So I need to go in a little bit further and remove a tiny bit more material here uh, with the 120. Um, but then what we're gonna do is switch over to a much smaller wheel to kind of feather in this transition here. <laughs> 